greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap heat and make the earth warm enough for us to survive on it. This is known as the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is being influenced by human activities which cause concentration of the greenhouse gases. These activities include the burning of fossil fuels for energy, deforestation for housing settlements and the rearing of animals for food production and security. The increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap a greater quantity of heat, causing an increase in global surface temperatures which impacts significantly on climate change. Scientists have predicted that climate change will cause, among other things, changes in rainfall patterns, which will result in longer droughts and a decrease in freshwater availability, and increased rainfall which will cause floods. Sea level rise, resulting in saline intrusion, which will result in decreased land productivity and diminished freshwater availability. Increased storm and hurricane intensity, causing direct damage to infrastructure and the loss of lives. Increased temperatures, which will result in heat stress in plants and animals, coral bleaching, biodiversity loss, habitat loss, and an increase in the emergence of vector-borne diseases. Agriculture in the Caribbean is very climate sensitive. Hurricanes and storms, prolonged rainfall and droughts pose serious threats to the sector, with the potential to cause billions of dollars in damages and significant decline in agricultural production. In Jamaica, for example, preliminary figures from the Ministry of Agriculture for the impact of Tropical Storm Nicole in 2010 indicated crop damage accounted for 531.6 million, damage to livestock was put at 32.4 million and greenhouses at 12.5 million. Though contributing less than 10% to the GDP of most Caribbean islands, agriculture is essential for domestic food supply, employment and providing raw material for agro-industries. When the additional value created by the agro-industries was included, the contribution of the agriculture sector to the GDP increased to 9.52%. In the same year, 223,600 persons were employed in agriculture. This represented the highest amount of the 1,194,500 employed labor force. The social and economic importance of agriculture to Caribbean states demand that measures must be taken to adapt to and mitigate climate change. Some of the adaptation methods are uh, looking at varieties which will adapt to the drier and hotter conditions of the region. An increase in the use of protected agriculture, such as greenhouses, may also be desirable. Another measure is, of course, uh, soil and water conservation, which is particularly important for all farmers in the region who work a lot of the times on, on, on hillsides. Uh, hillside farming is not new to us, but we've, in, under the changing climate conditions, we've got to be more, more, more particular to uh, ensure that we conserve on our moisture as well as conserve on the uh, fertility of the soils on the hillside. Other soil conservation measures include terracing, contour cropping, contour drainage and strip cropping on hillsides, reforestation of denuded hillsides. Technologies such as hydroponics or soilless agriculture, which allows for the use of other growing media, may also have to be utilized by more farmers. The third method is of course uh, looking at the scarce water resources that we're likely to have. And here we're going to have to look at storage and things like rainwater harvesting are going to be very, very important. The conservation of energy, recycling and the planting of trees must also be top on the list of mitigation efforts by farmers. Caribbean farmers with predominantly open field and rain-fed farms are very vulnerable to climate change because they are limited in their capacity to cope with climate variabilities and extremes. They must, however, explore measures to adapt to and mitigate climate change.